You know, my biggest frustration is really that there are so many people operating under misconceptions about open access, which I mentioned before, but it's it's surprising to me that still there are people who believe that open access journals don't use peer review or that uh, all open access publications charge a fee for publishing or that open access is only relevant in um, the sciences and that there aren't any humanists publishing uh, under open access models, that it's only articles and not books or other formats. Um, none of those things are true. Um, peer review is used, there's rigorous scholarship, humanists are engaged in open access as well as um, those in the physical sciences uh, and health sciences. Um, so that that's a real frustration to me. Um, I'm not sure why it continues to persist. I, I guess that's an opportunity for librarians uh, to talk, to continue to talk or to expand our conversations with researchers to, um, to make all that clearer to them. Um, so those, those are really my biggest frustrations. Um, then the second one is that um, I think it would be really great if more researchers and scholars were involved in the debates around um, the economic challenges in the scholarly communication world right now. Um, I mean, it's something that librarians, of course, are very involved with because uh, our budgets are a huge part of that mix. Um, but we're paying for the work of scholars and scholars, I feel, need to not only be more informed about how their work is part of this whole uh, economic ecosystem, uh, but to really think about how they feel about it and advocate for how they wanna see that scholarly communication um, ecosystem uh, sustained and how the resources within it should be allocated. So um, I don't know if that's a pet peeve so much as a, um, as a as strong desire that I would like to see the scholars themselves have a stronger voice in that conversation.